I have with me two guests. Uh, to my left, I have um, uh, Frédéric uh, Montlouis Felicité, who's from the Institut de l'Entreprise, and um, uh, Olivier Ferrand from Terra Nova. Now, we've been discussing this all morning, the, 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 the amount of the vote that uh, went to Marine Le Pen, and pretty much everyone agrees it's a surprise. But, uh, Olivier, I'm wondering, how do you account for the amount of vote that went to her? Uh, the, uh, the, the, the main reason is really uh, the uh, two uh, governing parties being uh, incapable during the last, actually, decades to drag France out of its uh, economic misery. Uh, slow growth, high unemployment, and uh, difficulties in the, in the suburb of social cohesions. And uh, there is no answer. You vote for the, uh, for the socialists, you vote for the right, and uh, France is still in dire straits. So at the end of the day, you try something else. Either you don't go out to vote or you try something else. Until now, the, na the, the extreme right, National Front, was uh, an anti-Republican party, was a qua quasi-neo-Nazi party. So uh, the protest vote could not go easily uh, to the National Front because, you know, you, uh, even the French citizens uh, disapproving with the main parties w w were uh, at an ease voting for a neo-Nazi country. This is not the case anymore. Now the National Front looks like the Tea Parties in the, in the US. So it's, it's, it's a xenophobic party, a populist party, but it toes the line of the Republican rule. But Frederick, would you say, would you, would you agree with that? Because, I mean, when you look at the economic policies which are being espoused by the National Front, exit the euro, uh, get France to actually stop uh, making any payments to the bailout, it looks as if it's a very, it doesn't look like it's a, a, a mainstream party at all. Yeah. I, I, I do agree with Olivier. There's, there's a, a, a huge uh, uh, um, lack of confidence in, in the ability of uh, usual or well uh, class, classical uh, politicians to tackle the real issues and um, with this sense of social insecurity uh, with a high level of unemployment uh, with uh, industrial bases going down and down um, and this is largely more largely than only the national front if, if you take the far left and the far right uh, yesterday's election showed that around one-third of voters choose uh, not to vote for a traditional party left or right and this is this is a huge issue for for the next few years but Olivier with the um, with, with the, the the policies which are being put forward by Monsieur Hollande though I mean it doesn't really look as if he's addressing the the, the issues at all then <laughs> I hope he's trying to <laughs> yeah no he's trying to do so the uh, uh, our two problems, uh, at, at least on the economic and social issues, uh, are, are the following. One is, of course, over-indebtedness. And we have um, a candidate who is uh, making a lot of pledges uh, to, uh, um, uh, to, to balance uh, our deficits within the mandates. So uh, there is a full conscientiousness of, of the needs to uh, uh, to uh, to change our uh, financial path. So well, you're talking one. about the mandates, but I mean, we saw some pretty number some numbers coming out showing a potential contraction in French services that's going on. These are the PMI numbers that are coming out. Do you think that the that the assumptions, the growth assumptions that underlie François Hollande's policies are actually realistic? Well, uh, neither François Hollande nor Nicolas Sarkozy uh, get the right hypothesis on, on their uh, projects. The By the way, the IMF, IMF sets, sets the uh, 2013 growth perspective to uh, one, one percent. Both of them have put uh, the, this perspective to one percent in their uh, project. That means, a very simple thing, that means 18 billion euros should be found uh, additionally to what has already been projected to just reach the target of uh, deficit um, uh, of, of, of uh, deficit uh, cut so this is this is a huge issue and whether it is François Hollande or Nicolas Sarkozy who's elected in, in two weeks time they will have to tackle this issue so what is it about this campaign then is it just been all talk and that after the elections of the parliamentary elections in June we're going to see significant um, uh, uh, recalibration of the proposals? No, not necessarily. On, uh, the, the other issue uh, at stake in, uh, at the moment is, of course, competitiveness. Uh, the the, the uh, world uh, market share of France 
have, have uh, plummeted during the uh, decade from uh, 4% of, of world market share to uh, 2.9, minus 30%, while Germany, for instance, all the Nordic countries in Europe have uh, skyrocketed. So uh, uh, there are proposals on the table. There have been proposals during this campaign. Basically, it's uh, competitiveness of a price competitiveness for the, for the rights and more uh, added value uh, competitiveness for, uh, for, for the left. Investment uh, in the future, investment in, in innovation, uh, education, research and development for the left. So, of course, that's going to be a mixture of the two. But you have the uh, two options, basically, on, on the table. Let's say that's a German option for the, uh, for the right and the Nordic option for the, uh, uh, for the, for the left. So, that's on the table. That has been discussed. Uh, the, the campaign has been uh, quite uh, well appalling in some, and so, to some respect, but there have been proposals on but, the table. But there are the proposals on the table. But I'm getting the sense from both of you that the response that we're getting from the political parties isn't the response that we that needs to be uh, to, that, that needs to be taken. I mean, is it going to be the markets, in fact, that actually start directing this? Do you think we're going to have to be uh, see a big sell-off in French bonds, like we've seen in Italy and Spain, before we actually get proper? Action? Action from French politicians. Well, this is uh, this is uh, likely. Uh, this is likely, and and again, uh, whether it is Nicolas Sarkozy or François Hollande uh, in in, in the, uh, after May May the six. But the, the 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 real issue we see is that probably none of them have as as really explained how they will tackle this. Uh, 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 a cut uh, in, in the public spending and how they will decrease uh, the level of public spending to uh, what what is already uh, uh, projected to minus five percent we know that we need to to cut by five percent per year over the next five to seven year euros if we want to just get to the level of the, uh, the European average in in, uh, in public spending, so this is this is a huge challenge, and none of them has explained how, how they will do that. Two huge challenges and uh, and no clear path on how we're going to get there, Frederic. Uh, Frederic uh, Montlouis, Felicity, thank you very much indeed. Olivier Ferrand, thank you very much indeed.